Hey everybody, John the Other here. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, unfortunately, what I have to do today is is uh, something I don't like doing, which is clarifying a previous statement. Uh, two videos ago, I did something called Dear MRA, Sit Down, Shut Up. And a lot of people are taking me very literally, thinking, oh, What do you mean, shut up? You're supposedly free speech, and I won't shut up, and I'll shut up when I'm dead, and, and so on. <sighs> oh, Lord. I do not actually mean be silent. And I thought I was pretty clear in that video. I mean, you can go back and rewatch it and decide for yourself if I was unclear. Everybody who wants to comment on stuff going on in the media, the Gian Gameshi trial or anything else, by all means, throw in your two cents. Do it on your YouTube channel, do it on a blog, do it on, through Twitter or Facebook or wherever you want. What I was saying, and I'm so sorry I have to clarify this because people are either being deliberately obtuse or they actually didn't understand me, is that the men's rights movement, which I was once a part of and am no longer a part of, except by, you know, association, the, the label follows you, is widely despised. It is a dirty word. Even people who may agree with some of the rhetoric or some of the arguments in the men's rights movement, like that there's a suicide epidemic, that there's a homelessness epidemic, that the family courts, you know, destroy men, and so on, even when people who are not part of the MRM agree with some of the items, some of the issues, just the label, MRM, is a dirty word. It's a way to, your conversation is over, even if what you're saying has merit. And so if you are a, a high-profile member of the men's rights movement, you pretty much have to stay away from credible, high-reputation people with public esteem who are doing good work, say, in advance of due process or, you know, the integrity of the courts or free speech or any other of the issues that we think are important. And so if you are a high-profile member of the men's rights movement and you're intelligent and you're not just a, a, an idiotic blabbermouth, um, then one of your jobs as a member of that movement, I said I'm not a part of it and I say I'm not still, um, is don't get the dirty reputation of the movement onto other people who aren't a part of it, who might be doing some of the work for you, or I dare say are doing a better job of it than anybody in the movement is doing or the whole movement altogether is doing. Don't get the bad stink of the MRM onto the reputations of professionals who are actually advancing the cause, like Christy Blatchford. And I've wanted to say that for, you know, a, about half a week. It's just kind of gnawing at my mind. And, of course, my video of a day ago was precipitated by seeing a high-profile, presumably highly intelligent member of the men's rights movement doing precisely the thing that I've been kind of wanting to say. And so, of course, I had to, I was like, oh, now I can't say it without it being a personal attack against that person. That's why I didn't put their name in it, in the comments or anything like that. Now, of course, there's a big fight of egos, right? There's a big uh, drama, there's a big conflict, which I find tedious and time-wasting. The point is, if you are a known MRA, men's rights activist, you cannot go get in bed with somebody whose work you want to succeed in the public because you will derail what they are doing. And if you're not a moron, you know this without me having to tell you. Everybody with a big ego, and that means everybody on YouTube with a channel pretty much, needs to take their ego and fold it up and put it away. That includes me. And sure, I may be talking about lots of this stuff. I'm talking about the Jan Gameshi trial, and I'm, I talked about the Greg Allen Elliott trial, and about Christy Blatchford's commentary, and so on. What I'm not doing is attempting to associate myself to those people, because that will taint them. As it will taint them when any of you do it, too. Even you, my former friends and colleagues, don't do it. Unless you just think your personal fame is much, much, much more important than any of these issues, then by all means, go ahead. 
I, I cannot help myself, I will have to point out that what you're doing is putting your personal fame in front of the importance of these issues like due process and the ongoing corruption of our courts. I don't know how much more clearly I can say this. This cannot be about personalities. This has to be about the issues. Seriously, just go have a sandwich or something. And thanks for watching.